Dave, the crowdfunding is a very interesting idea. Um, what, what prompted the club to go down that route? Uh, it's something we've looked at for quite a while now, uh, and we just felt uh, with the team where they are, uh, and we obviously the manager wanted to look to sign some players, uh, we've always said that the budget will be the budget, uh, so it's a way for the fans to get involved and for us to maybe uh, help him along, and, and if the fans want to donate, then brilliant. If they don't, that's fine, but that extra money will go towards the playing budget, and everybody knows that January players uh, are in the, in the market, so hopefully we can use the money wisely. Yes, clearly most of Harrier's rivals will look to strengthen in January, so you've got to do your best to um, rival them in that front, really. I think so. I think uh, you look at our squad and we've used uh, you know, similar players e each match, so we, we probably haven't got the depth that other sides have got. So this, this money will be used by the manager in January to because there's always another forward or a midfielder that, somebody, that the manager wants, so uh, it's just giving him another opportunity in January to maybe strengthen the side and and we've still been in the trophy still, there's there's lots of games coming up, so uh, you know, it's all good. Yes, so that's a good point actually, he wants to add uh, quality obviously, but you might want one or two more in given the volume of matches you've got to play. I think so, we've just, going in the trophy we just had to rearrange a league game, so hopefully we continue, which will mean, you know, Saturday, Tuesday games, which will mean the squad depth is tested, so uh, this will be an ideal, depending on, you know, whether we raise a thousand pounds, five thousand pounds, that can be used in uh, in January. Well, you're well on your way to the first thousand, I understand. Yeah, we're pleased with how it's, it's started. Uh, we've got a few more rewards to introduce. Uh, we've got a, a month to, to see where, where it takes us. And then we're looking to fi final uh, to finish it off with a fans forum, with the management uh, upstairs, uh, and see, where that, see how that goes. Tell us about some of the rewards, because this is interesting. It's a chance, really, to see a side of the club that most fans wouldn't normally see. Yeah, I think mean, the, the chairman, the manager, they've all, they've all taken it on board. Uh, it's the staff uh, day out next Wednesday, uh, and so Colin said, oh, well, I've got a couple of spaces, why don't we offer that? So there's lots of different, you know, training with the coaching staff, uh, lots of different things that we can offer, which is, which is what we're looking to do, really, offer things that we don't normally offer to supporters to give that, that reward for people that are willing to, to part with some money. I think you can be a director for a day as well, can you? Yes, without the stress. So you can you can come in for the day and, and watch you know watch the game and have your meal without the without all the stress of everything else that goes on. So yeah. A final point: Do you know many other clubs doing this kind of thing? There's a few clubs that have done it. Uh, Grimsby Town uh, did it quite successfully when they were in the conference. Uh, I know that Cheltenham have done something similar. Uh, so there's a few clubs that do it. It's just a different. It's a different angle. It's a different way for for supporters to get involved with the football club because. Right from the start, we've been we've been clear that forty percent uh, will go to the playing management budget. So we, we don't want to overstretch ourselves. We've we've been there before. So uh, that's what we're we're looking to put this money to.